John, how did you get involved and get started in what you do now? So how it happened was I used to, in fact, before I go there, I have a degree. Okay. So I have a degree in criminal justice and policing, which I got from, it was called the University of Central England in Birmingham, UK. Um, I actually wanted to be a police officer. Oh Can God. you imagine? No, okay. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't actually continue with it because I've got a phobia of rodents. And I thought to myself, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be going into these abandoned buildings with rodents, <laughs> with rodents <laughs> trying to chase criminals. So no, I didn't continue with that. Okay. So over the years, I've had so many jobs, so many jobs. I've had sales jobs, uh, mortgage broker jobs. Oh God, so many jobs. And I got fired from one of them. You just didn't care? <laughs> um, Not really. <laughs> Someone's calling me sick. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't, I got fired from a lot of jobs. And I remember I was working for this company called Black Horse Finance. And the manager called me into the office and he said to me, he was like, Petra, do you know that you've never worked a full month? I was like, what? He's like, no, the only reason why we haven't fired you is because you're one of our top salespeople. And I was like, oh my God, really? He was like, yeah. So yeah, that, wow. that, that was, that was, I'm just not meant to work. So how I came into entrepreneurship now. So I used to manage a hostel for teenage parents. So I did that for like, five years and then in June around June 2013 I decided that I didn't want to continue working there anymore and I liked the job I liked the the, the teenagers I was helping them um with getting back into work helping them with their babies and things like that and I actually really liked the actual work okay excuse me okay i like the actual work but i didn't get supported much from management and i just couldn't handle it anymore so i decided that i had to start my own business so i had the idea to start a t-shirt t-shirt printing business which was around june 2013 bought all of the equipment for the t-shirt printing business started printing the t-shirts in the living room wow. okay i got my first sale on the 13th of July 2013 and I quit my job on the Friday okay and I only had 2,000 pounds worth of savings oh. yes that's exactly what happened um I had didn't know anything about business didn't have a website didn't have any like no one in my family has a business didn't have any business friends or anything around me and and that's basically how I started and I literally left my job it was three o'clock in the afternoon and I remember putting my putting my hands up in the air in the car park and I was like I'm gonna make this business work I'm gonna be successful and then the next day so we got I got all of the equipment and everything and the next day I was going to industrial estates um hairdressers restaurants just everywhere basically saying I can print your t-shirts. I didn't have any website, didn't have any logo, didn't have business cards. I used to walk in, write my name and number on a piece of paper, rip it off and give it to them. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Nothing to show for it. That, is, that was <laughs> it. And you know what? These people gave me the deposits. They just trusted me and gave me the money. And at the time I had a big black afro and I wore a hoodie with the, with the brand, with my brand of the, of the business. Was going really well and as I was making three thousand pounds a month from that business. Wow. Good for you. I know. And in my job, right? Yeah. In my job, <laughs> listen, in my job I was making eleven hundred pounds a month. Doubled. Eleven hundred pounds a month. And I was over thirty thousand pounds in debt. And every month I would say, Mom, can you lend me some money? I was broke. I was skint. Okay? Anyway. So then I started to make £3,000 a month and that was going really well. And I will get my clients going to networking events. So I'll go to networking events in the mornings, afternoons and in the evenings and say, look, I am the person that can treat your t-shirts. 
And I just became known in the networking market for printing t-shirts and everyone started to come to me. And then I was like, you know what? Let me try and get some clients on, online. So I just learned Facebook marketing. I learned how to, to market on Twitter. So at the time in Birmingham, they had like Birmingham Twitter business groups mm-hmm. and Staffordshire Twitter business groups, like different business groups. Mm-hmm. Um, and you have like an hour to market yourself in these groups. So I would just basically market myself in these groups and I would start to get customers and clients, f- customers from these groups. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was doing really well. And then when I was going to, oh, I forget something. So I didn't have a website, but then I went to this WordPress networking event and this little short lady, she was so short. She must be in like in her late fifties. She taught me how to put a website together. Two hours. She taught me about domain names, hosting. I didn't know anything about anything nothing at all and then based on what she taught me I then went on to YouTube and just started watching YouTube videos about how to create a website Mm -hmm. I created a website in seven days wow and it was actually an e-commerce website so I actually put my products on there as well did it in seven days and that was it then when I started going to networking events now I would say yeah yeah, I I make three thousand pounds a month and then people are saying, Petra, how are you making that amount of money? So I'm thinking that these guys are all business owners. Like, they were all older than me. You know, they were kind of in their 50s and 60s and everything. They was like, well, how are you making that much money? I'm like, well, aren't you making that money? Mm-hmm. And they were like, well, no. And then they were saying like, okay, so Petra, um, can you teach me how to attract clients online? And that's when it started. And that's when it started. That's when it started. So I was like, hang on, this is now consultancy. So in July of 2024, I was like, you know what? This is consultancy. So 2014, sorry, 2014. Yes, 2014. I created my website, petrofrasta.com. And at the time, I called myself a personal branding expert which I'll I'll help you to attract clients online. Mm -hmm. And I got my first clients all from going to networking events and I made £13,000 in six weeks. Good job! Wow! Yep, 13000 in six weeks. And then I just kind of perfected my craft. When I say my craft, I I was naturally good at helping people to discover the skill and abilities within themselves and then putting it in a package where it would it was tangible to someone to buy it Mm. okay and then as the years went on i i kind of um evolved my brand and then i would call myself petra the queen of high ticket sales Mm-hmm. And at this time, this is like around 2014, 2015, 2016, and there wasn't any other black woman in the UK that was specifically talking about attracting high paying clients. Mm-hmm. That was me. So I was like, you know, we can get high paying clients because I started out charging £2,000 for my clients. And I increased them to like £3,000 for consultancy. Mm-hmm. And other people weren't doing this at the time. Um, coaches and consultants they were charging like by the hour and I never ever did that it's like even though at the time I wasn't people would say I didn't have people always say that they may not have the um credibility I had credibility I knew that I was good and I charged what I thought my value was then over the years my fees increased Mm -hmm. so I call myself the queen of high ticket sales and my my um flagship program was called sales in six mastery if you look down my instagram or in my youtube you will see that i talk a lot about sales in six mastery mm-hmm. and that is basically helping men- helping coaches and consultants to to attract high paying clients that pay them three thousand pound or more within six weeks or less okay and you know something I had clients um, in 2015, 
I had clients that were making £10,000 a month, £15,000 a month, just from what I was teaching them. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, and then, so I was taking, I was doing like one-on-one -on -one clients and then I transitioned into group coaching at the time. So I hired it. So during this time I've, I've hired coaches, I've had therapists, I've had mentors. I always believed, I always believe in investing in yourself and, um, learning from people that are more successful than you and they've got, that they've got their shit together basically. Mm -hmm. And during this time, I was, I got really burnt out because I had a lot of clients. Um, and during the late 2015, I raised my fees to 5,000 pounds and people were paying it. Um, so what I did is I hired a mentor and I was like, you know what? I'm getting burnt out. What should I do? And she said, create a, a group mentoring program. So I worked with her, literally, it was like a, it's like a VIP day only for one day and we mapped out everything because I already had my structure, my, um, package of how I got someone from no sales to sales. I had that already patterned, mm. patterned. I said patterned. Oh my God. That is, that is UK slang. That is how oh, are you? Yes. That is UK <laughs> slang. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. And then, so I created the, the group mentoring program, started marketing it. And then I launched it in 2016, just before I launched it 2015 Christmas and people started to be onboarded in 2016, January. Um, and that launch, I made 33,000 pounds in that one launch. And I consistently uh, launched that same program. I know that my second launch was £57,000 for that launch. And then in about 2018, I started a, um, I started a, a, a mastermind. That's it. I started a mastermind. And that was when I had my first £100,000 launch job, right? from that mastermind. And that, and that went really well. And then I was doing like mentoring and teaching people how to like get clients online. And then in 2019, I was like, I was in Spain. So I lived in Spain for about six months and I was like, you know something, I need to do something different. I want a business that doesn't depend on social media. Um, and I remembered when I was working, uh, with the young people, I enjoyed that. So I was like, you know something, let me start a supported living business. So I had the idea in February 2019 and I got my first property in August 2019. And that is how Prosperity Housing Group began. Wow. Okay. That's how it began. Got my first house. Um, didn't have any knowledge about care. Didn't have any knowledge about supported living. Um, knowledge about nothing. Knowledge about properties. But I got my first property. Filled my house with service users. And now we're doing really well now. Um, now we're CQC registered and we've taken on clients. And now, which I'm so proud of, is that we have franchised now, franchised prosperity housing groups. What that means is, is that you're able to buy our license and we'll teach you exactly how to become CQC. In fact, no, we do the CQC registration for you. And we also write the tender for you so you can get clients from the local authority. And we then basically use our blueprint because our service users um, have a great transformation. We've got a really good staff retention rate. And it's basically a business model that you can replicate. So when you become a franchisee, you don't have to literally start from scratch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and yeah, and that's how it works. If you want to become a franchisee, all you need to do is go to www.phgfranchise.co.uk and you can get all the information there. But yes, that is my story. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.